Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada. One of my favorite scriptures is in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 16, verse 31. It says, gray hair is a crown of splendor. It is attained in the way of righteousness. And of course, the reason why I like that verse is because I've got gray hair. Uh, actually, grey hair for me was not just about being old. Uh, it's something in the Park family. We all go grey early. Uh, we're all in our thirties, grey, grey-haired. So uh, I was, I was grey-haired even as a young man. However, age does not necessarily mean that you have wisdom. Last night I was teaching in our own local church in Drogheda, and I was teaching. Uh, a series on God of our fathers. We've been talking about Abraham and we've been talking about Isaac and last night we were talking about Jacob and the previous week I had been talking about you know that incident where Jacob tricked his father where he pretended to be Esau and at his mother's prompting and his mother's urging uh, he he because his father was blind he covered his arms and the back of his neck with goat hair because his brother was an exceptionally hairy man and pretended to be Esau. Now, what I think most of us, when we read that, we, we think of the, Jacob as this young man playing this trick, you know, his mother's basically controlling what's happening, and he plays this trick and everything else and ends up having to run off to Padan Aram and find a wife there, but also to escape the wrath of his brother Esau. However, Bible scholars, when they add up the different amount of years that Isaac did this and did that and who was born when and where, basically they've worked out that Jacob was not a young man when he deceived his father in that way. Uh, the youngest age that any Bible scholar has attempted to fit the age on Jacob at that time was 50 years of age, and some even go as far as thinking that Jacob was 77 years of age whenever he tricked his father in that way which uh, led to a wonderful quote for an old preacher I once heard say that Jacob was a 77 year old mummy's boy. Well that puts a slightly different perspective on it because here's Jacob anywhere between 50 and 77 years old and it, he's still deceiving. He's He's still conniving. He's still scheming and not showing a lot of wisdom. And it was only after that that he had those two really profound encounters with God for himself. And one was whenever he was sleeping at Bethel and he had the dream of the ladder and the angels ascending and descending. And of course, the other one was later on whenever he, uh, he was by the, the river at Jabbok and he wrestled with God and prevailed. And what that, what that tells me is this, that getting old, whether it be 50 years, 77 years old, or even 100 years old, getting old does not necessarily give you wisdom. In fact, age is only useful if you gain experience, gain knowledge, gain a closer walk with God as you go through your years. And the time that God has given each one of us is a precious gift indeed. You know, Abraham, when he died, the Bible says he was old and full of years. Now, that's not just saying the same thing twice. Full of years doesn't mean just he was old. It's not just another expression to say he was old. He was old, but he was full of years. His years had added something to him. Now, of course, each year that we live is made up of 365 days or 366 in a leap year. So we need to make every day count. Now, that doesn't mean we can't relax. It doesn't mean that we can't enjoy things. It doesn't mean we can't learn to go with the flow. But we need to make sure that every day that we live, we take the opportunity to learn something. We take the opportunity to know God in a better way, to spend intimate time with him and to know him better. And I want to encourage you today, don't wait until you feel you're older. 
but start today. Today, just say, Lord, I want you to teach me something today. Lord, I want to learn something new today. Lord, I want to get a deeper appreciation of who you are today. And if we can live each day like, like that, then we are going to find that age does indeed bring wisdom, does indeed bring honor, does indeed bring glory. That uh, if we live a long time, it's not just a case of living to be old, but to be old and full of years, having a wealth of experience, spending day by day, one day after another, receiving what God has for us that day. May God bless you today. May God speak something valuable into your life today. May God make today count for you in Jesus' name. And join us again next time for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drahada.